What is up, guys? We are here at Tropicana Field for Stadium Tour. Well, we're not here yet. Um, that's the dog. So we're here at home right now, but we're about to be at the Trop, so stay tuned. Oh, and uh, by the way, these are a couple of pictures of what Tampa Bay looks like. This is Tampa, and what St. Petersburg looks like. So hello, this is Tropicana Field from the outside of the parking lot. I am with my glove. That's the new one that I'm going to be breaking in. That's Tropicana Field from a closer look. And it's very hot standing outside in the line. The Cardinals taking BP right now. And I don't know who's hitting, but he is sending some balls out into the outfield. So I'm hoping I can catch one. By the way, there's one thing I would like to talk about, and we, or I saw a man pass out, and by the way, Jordan Walker just bunted, but I saw a man pass out earlier today from heat stroke outside of the stadium, and everyone was in line, the security guards were ready, and it was only like five minutes until we were supposed to let let people into the stadium. And by the way, it's a dome, so it's air conditioned. It was 73 degrees inside the stadium. And it was 95 degrees, hot and humid, outside. So this man passes out like five minutes before we're ready to be let inside. And I don't get it. Why couldn't they just let us in earlier? Everyone was ready. Everyone was ready. I don't, I don't understand it. That's a big problem I have with MOB, but right here is more batting practice. So, as you can see, Alec Burleson fakes a throw up into the right field bleachers. How rude. Batting practice has ended, so it's soon to be game time in 44 minutes and 30 seconds. So... Miles Michaelis on the mound for the Cardinals and on the bump for the Rays is going to be Zach Eflin. The, by the way, yes, the roof is sideways in Tropicana. That has been confirmed. There are also no cup holders in the seats in Tropicana, or at least where I was sitting. This is on the inside of the stadium. These little stations are pretty cool. And, uh... Yeah, this is just Nolan Arenado hitting a bomb. So the Cardinals go up one nothing with a solo shot. This is just a random Yandy Diaz at bat. Let's go, Yandy. With Miles Michaelis on the mound. That's a ball. Yandy Diaz, an all-star for the Rays this year, and he did very, very good. So good for him as he... Lines a shot out to the right field corner. It's collected by Jordan Walker, and he's gunned out at second base, trying to extend a single into two. Jordan Walker has a cannon. He's normally a third baseman, but playing right field. So, Yandy Diaz very disappointed, and Jordan Walker, I bet he's feeling pretty good about himself. Stay hydrated. Zach Geflin throwing to Paul Goldschmidt. Just a random Paul Goldschmidt at bat. That's Josh Lowe, the right fielder for the Tampa Bay Rays, having a very good year. I tried to show you the score, but I realized that it's too hard for you guys to see. I'm sorry. Pitch gets delivered by Eflin, and it's taken for a strike by Paul Goldschmidt. That's just a quick view of the outfield in Tropicana Field. An outfield that is actually turf, so just a heads up. That's taken for a strike by Paul Goldschmidt. Eflin sets up on the rubber, delivers, and 
It's grounded to the shortstop Wander Franco, who makes the play look easy for an out. That's a bullpen for Tampa. Righty and a lefty warming. And this is Jordan Walker. The right fielder for the Cardinals. Grounds the ball right to Brandon Lowe. And he can't pick it up cleanly. And that's scored an E4. Sorry, that's actually Brandon Lowe. My apologies. I'm amazing at saying. This is just a random Isak Paredes at bat. Michael is still in the mound at this point. Jordan Walker still gracing the right field grass or turf. It's taken for a ball by Paredes. The third baseman for the Tampa Bay Rays. Michael sets up on the rubber, gets ready to deliver, and that is fouled off by the young third baseman who came in a Tigers trade I believe and he shoots a ball into left field gone so that's a home run for Isaac Paredes I, he ties the game up and so the game's now tied and I also one thing that I really liked about this stadium is how they work the lights when something really exciting happened that's what something I really liked that is Josh Lau. Josh Lowe. Sorry. Looks like the Rays score a run here. A lot happened in this inning. So, sorry if I don't catch a lot of it. And I think they score another. And someone else walking up to the plate. So, yeah, that looks like it scores the Rays. Now they're up. Another thing happens here, another run scores for Tampa, and again, as I said, this all happened really quickly, but here's just something that happened that was hit out to center field for an RBI single, I believe. This is an at-bat here with the bases loaded, and Luke Rayleigh up, takes a ball. I actually forget who was pitching right now for the Cardinals, but he gets Rayleigh to ground out to the first baseman who throws it home for the out. And now Peter Fairbanks, the closer, comes in for the Tampa Bay Rays. Again, they really work the lights very well. This just seems to be a random Wilson Contreras at bat that I wanted to show you guys. He smacks the ball into right center, which all gets to this point in a second, but that makes it, I believe, a two-run lead for the Rays instead of three. But that's actually where I would have been sitting if seat or not seat geek, sorry. Game time wouldn't have ruined the tickets, but that's a ground out to Brandon Lau. So, one out away from the, this game being over. But yeah, I actually would have been sitting in that exact same seat probably if it weren't for the tickets not going through. So, that's fine. But the Rays went on a strikeout on Jordan Walker. And again, the lights, very, very cool. I appreciate it. And this is just me heading home from the plane. Thank you all for watching so much. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to tell your friends about us. And also, just a quick recap on this stadium. Overall, I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 10. For me, some, some knocks about it were that, first of all, there was no scoreboard out in out where we could see it there was a scoreboard right behind us so we actually couldn't see the score of the game 
we would have to turn all the way around to be able to see what team was winning or anything. Um, by the way, this is a second voiceover that I'm doing on a separate day, so my voice is a lot worse because I actually have COVID right now. <laughs> but also, the game kind of ruined my experience a little bit, a little bit of this stadium. But overall, the food did look good. I didn't eat any of the food. I actually had some. I actually had a burger before the game. I'll show you guys in three, two, one. Now, it was really, really good. Just a little hole in the wall before, before we went to the game. So, yeah, I, I thought I thought the stadium was pretty cool. Five out of ten overall. Um. So. If you guys want to go to Tampa, guess what? No one's stopping you. It's a pretty cool experience. Uh, I think there are just some other stadiums that I've been to that I like more. But overall, of course, this stadium has to be first on our list because, well, we haven't really been to any other stadium yet. So, Or at least we haven't vlogged any other stadium. So, yeah. Oh, and also, if you guys are wondering what the Ray tank is like, it's pretty cool. I was able to stop by. Actually, I actually got to touch the Rays, and that was actually pretty cool. They're pretty smooth, and uh, they're a little slimy, but they're not as slimy as you would actually think. So that was that was pretty a pretty fun experience, getting to touch the Rays and stuff. So... Yeah, I'll uh, give you guys a picture of what I got to see at the Ray Tank and all. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Tell all your friends about us, and peace.